Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to our first look at gameplay and trailer footage for Starship Troopers Terran Command. Coming out sometime hopefully later this year, I'll read from the Steam store page where it says Starship Troopers Terran Command is a thrilling real-time strategy game set in the Starship Troopers movie universe. Take command of the mobile infantry and do your part in the war against the arachnid threat. Ensure that human civilization, not insect, dominates the galaxy now and always. According to the Steam store page for this game, it should be out sometime this year with no definitive date yet and will be coming uh, to single player campaigns very soon. This game really would be awesome with some sort of multiplayer and skirmish, but it could be available in updates and of course things are still being announced about it and it's great to see a real-time strategy game over a turn-based as it's going to be incredible to help hold against all those bugs. Look at all that destruction and tactical nukes going out. That is going to be very exciting and I am going to definitely try to get into the beta of this one that's available as well, although I believe it's only on their website and maybe it's closed, but you'll have to try to get into it to your, yourself and see if you can also add it to your Steam uh, wish list page. I've been excited for this one for a while. A lot of you have been asking, so I figured I would put up a video just saying here's all the footage that we have so far of gameplay and for a story trailer. And then, of course, that'll be coming sometime soon. Great to see all the infantry moving. Great to see the Air Force here. And a really good-looking game. I've got to say, this is about what I would expect for a game on Starship Troopers. And I probably got about, uh, I don't know, a thousand hours from the old Minecraft and uh, or Starcraft days. Not Minecraft, but, of course, building and uh, making bases. I guess that's why I was thinking of that. In Starcraft, defending against the Zerg, who were in the place of the Arachnids, and the Terran, who would then be the Marines and it's uh, going to be really cool to finally see a full-fledged strategy game. It seems like forever. It seems like we would have seen something uh, for this a long time ago or more frequently if something exists. I tried to peek around, didn't see much from it, but it's cool to see the attacks from the bugs and from the re Marines, and this is going to be a very hard-fought campaign. This is going to be brutal, of course. If you've seen the movies before, we've got bugs that are shooting flame, and there could be all sorts of other bug types made up for the game and also that were present in the uh, other movies or that were, you know, deleted scenes or concepts from other types of ideas that can come in to really make this game a uh, brutal and, and difficult but yet very satisfying game as well. It's going to be a challenge, I think, with, you know, being outnumbered with all these bugs and a lot that you have to do to defend the line. And I'm very excited to see it. So we'll uh, see full trailers here in just a moment, full gameplay. I'll uh, stop talking very shortly and we'll see all this stuff. The developers are doing a good job, too, of explaining how things will play out and how the troops will work and how air uh, reinforcements and uh, bombardments and support comes in. So it's going to be quite cool to see. We're, again, still waiting on an announcement for this game for a release date, but I do hope it comes soon in 2021. And of course, with there already being a beta available, it means that they're probably working on some more fine-tuning to a few things in the game and I hope that they add some more features soon. Not only do we have desert combat in this game, but also urban combat too. So we're going to see some uh, human settlements that are under attack by the uh, Rakdin threat. And of course the Marines are being deployed to take them on too. So I'm very excited to see different locations, all the weapons, and a storyline play out. It looks like they have some good uh, cutscenes that we saw a little bit as well. Maybe recreated from the movie. I'm not exactly sure if this will be uh, from the movie itself or if it will be kind of its own campaign or maybe a take on that story, kind of like a remake uh, taking place around the time of Rico and the Roughnecks and all the other uh, things from the movies. It is based on the movie's universe, so hopefully we do see some more things expanded upon before and perhaps after that invasion as well. Maybe there's other battles that we didn't know about. And again, I'm getting a Gears of War type vibe just by looking at this footage too. Gears of War is also a game where I thought, man, that would be cool if we got a, you know, a Starship Troopers first-person shooter would be incredible. I also felt that a little bit when I played uh, some other games like Killzone back in the day for PlayStation uh, 2 and 3, and it's uh, really cool just to see now finally having capabilities of having giant masses of bugs coming up on the screen, and of course concepts for things like air support and just all sorts of cool vehicles that we get to use. Starship Troopers is a really nice mix of uh, really like, it feels like Star Wars and Gears of War and all sorts of different movies in one, but it's in its own special place. I put it on a high pedestal of my uh, early movie days as well, enjoying watching that movie over and over again and really wishing there was some sort of a game. And thankfully there wasn't really anything that uh, bombed that I could remember at this point. So it makes me highly, highly excited for this game coming soon and anticipate a full campaign with lots of options to uh, base build. I don't see anything yet in, in, so far, but I do see some garrison buildings up top. So I don't know if these are structures that we can build or if they're just structures to defend. but. It's going to be really cool to see what they come up with 
for all sorts of different missions, maybe possibly base building, and of course commanding the troops, and using all sorts of special abilities like tactical nukes and mortars and whatnot, so it'll be cool to see. Alright, well, we're about to jump into a full-fledged uh, viewing of the trailer and such as well, so I'd like to remind everybody that when this does come out to subscribe and smash like and also uh, turn on the notification bell, and we'll be dropping some more news about the game closer to release. If they come out with more trailers, if they come out with more footage, I'm definitely going to share it with you. And then, of course, when this is fully available, damn, look at the mines there, I love this. It's a full-fledged base with reinforcements dropping in, damn. Oh, and some mechs too! <laughs> That's awesome! Very good to see those in there with the uh, mini gun blaring. Cool. Well, again, don't forget to join us, and uh, we'll probably have, have some uh, more uh, giveaways and such on our Discord, and uh, be sharing news on Twitter and all sorts of things, so do yourself a favor and watch for this game coming soon. Let's get into the uh, full trailer footage and gameplay footage. Oh, damn. That, that looks good. I cannot wait for more. All right, enjoy the uh, footage that you just saw in its entirety, and I will see you very soon. Thanks again for watching. Let's roll it. In every age, there is a cause worth fighting for. But in the future, the greatest threat to our survival will not be men at all. must face an enemy more devastating than any ever imagined. Go, go, go! Move! Troopers, with me! Slytherine takes you to the front lines of the next frontier. Starship Troopers, Terran Command. The mission, proceed through the canyon, secure landing zones, and clear the area. There are reports of sporadic bug activity, but our elite troops are more than prepared to meet any threat. The first enemy scouts are spotted and dispatched with ease. They are no match for one of the finest weapons in the universe, the Morita Assault Rifle. The intrepid soldiers of the Mobile Infantry push forward, clearing the way for dropships standing by to swoop in. More bugs, tiny ones, not a problem for, but here, that's a tanker bug. The quick-witted troops tactically withdraw, all the while maintaining a devastating hail of fire. Swarms of arachnid warriors appear from the north, even as the tanker bug spews corrosive acid on the heroic infantry. Hold the line, men. See how our brave soldiers stand their ground against seemingly overwhelming odds. But when the tanker bug is destroyed by a precise rocket barrage, the mobile infantry turn the tables on the remaining bugs. Reinforcements arrive to aid the company as it secures the area. A job well done for the men and women of the mobile infantry. And with another victory for the Federation, the complete liberation of Parlasha draws near. With the city outskirts secure, the rest of the settlement is primed for liberation. Never again will filthy bugs infest these streets. A squad of fearless troopers scout ahead. Their orders? Report on enemy numbers, then lure the bugs back to the mighty bulwark of static defenders. The bugs may have the advantage of numbers, but they can't beat our military ingenuity. Would you like to know more? Qualasha, once just a remote outpost, has now become a vital part of the Federation's war effort due to its rich mineral deposits. 
Its GDP grew by 13.4% this past year, and we're expecting similar growth next year. The plan is working. Huge numbers of arachnids swarm forward unaware, and the scouts fall back to base. Turrets and skillfully placed lines of fire provide an unpleasant surprise for the insects, a ruse that would make Sun Tzu proud. Would you like to know more? The F-76 Thunderbolt, or TAC fighter, represents the pinnacle of airstrike technology. When troopers hear the sweet sound of the F-76 Thunderbolt flying overhead, they know victory is certain. One after another, bugs are mown down by heavy machine gun and small arms fire. Looks like it's going to be another heroic victory for the mobile infantry. The bugs keep coming, but surely their force is almost spent? Plasma fire! Hold! Hold the line! Victory is within your reach, boys! A tanker bug! That's a tanker bug! Hold! Hold the...